Hi, my name is Pankaj Dube and in this video we are going to talk about protector's introduction and significance. First of all, what is protector? So protector is an end-to-end -end test framework for AngularJS and AngularJS applications. So protector is used to automate the testing of any application which is built over AngularJS. Protector in detail. It is built as a wrapper on top of Selenium WebDriver with many extended features. It means that it already has all the information or all the features which is there in the Selenium but also it has many added features like synchronization handling and advanced element locators. Protector is a Node.js program which is written in JavaScript. It can be used to do headless browser testing and it can also be used to test non-AngularJS web applications. Why do we need it? We need Protector to test the AngularJS web applications. Now, the question is, can't we test AngularJS with any other tool like Selenium? Yes, we can, but there are many challenges that we'll have to face while writing the automation script. One of them are the synchronization error. Right, so this is already handled in the Angular uh, in the Protector, so you don't need to write the implicit weight or explicit weight while, while writing your automation scripts. So why not to use a tool which is made to test this only? Now, what is AngularJS? So AngularJS is a JavaScript-based open source front-end web application framework to make SPA web applications. SPA stands for single page application. Now in coming videos, in coming slides, I'll show you that what is SPA. So AngularJS is a common or very favorite framework which is used to develop an SPA website. It is developed and maintained by Google. It lets you use your HTML as your template language and lets you extend HTML syntax to express your application's component clear and compact. These applications are lightweight as they use less code. Now, what is SPA? So, SPA stands for single page application. SPA is a web application where the page is loaded only once throughout the session. But the web components will keep loading as per the user action or the business process. So it's just that the additional data that will be loaded whenever user performs any action and not the full page will be loaded. Hence your speed will be fast and you'll be getting a desktop like feel when you're using any SPA website. This approach provides interruption of the user experience between successive pages making the application behave more like a desktop application. In an SPA, either all necessary code like HTML, JavaScript, and CSS is retrieved with a single page load, or the appropriate resources are dynamically loaded and added to the page as and when necessary. Right, let's uh, look at this graph we have uh, developed for the non SPA website. So, here you can see there are two machines one is client machine and second one is server machine. Whenever client sends a request, server sends a response in which he send, it sends all the resources and the code, something like this HTTP request, HTTP response with web page resources like CSS, JavaScript, HTML, images, and other codes. Again, if user performs certain actions and submits the web page, by uh, sending an HTTP request, the server again sends the full page and full resources, which is time taking and it utilizes the resources more. So let's see it again. So client is sending one HTTP request, server sent one HTTP response, but, but again with whole web page resources like CSS, JavaScript, HTML, image, code and all, which is not right. Right. Now let's talk about an SPA website. Here what happens, there is two machines, server and client. Client sends a request. First, for the first time, server sends all the resources like CSS, JavaScript, HTML, image and other codes. But when user performs certain actions and again send the HTTP request, server only sends the additional data and not the full resources. Hence, the utilization of resources are fast and it behaves like a desktop application because only the additional data is loaded and not the full page is loading. A single page application literally has only one page. So let's compare an SPA site and a non-SPA site. Right, so here I have opened one website which is an SPA site. So if I click here, see, uh, keep your eye on this portion. If I click here, it will not be loading, right? It's just that your content is loading, but this whole page is not, lo not loading. If I click on all license, here you can see it still didn't load, but here the content has updated. But if you talk about a non-SPA site like like yahoo.com and if I click on let's say cricket, you will see that it has started loading. Right? 
and then cross button is there to stop the load. If I again click on somewhere else then again it will start loading which is a time taking process because it sends all and full resources again and again. Coming back to point. So that's an SPM. SPA can be achieved by adopting JavaScript frameworks. Web browser JavaScript frameworks such as AngularJS, AmberJS, Meteor, XJS, ReactJS have adopted SPA principles. AngularJS and ReactJS is quite popular framework for building any SPA website. Now if you're more interested to know more in detail, then you can Google it. Thanks for watching.